will win a piano, this diamond necklace, a silver punch bowl, <laughs> and a trip to Transylvania. And continue a journey towards a fortune in cash and prizes, including a cabriolet and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000. It's trip or treat with on sale of the century. And now, here's the star of the show, Jim Perry. <laughs> Hello there. Thank you. Nice to have you here. And welcome to our last show of Trick or Treat Week. And I must say, looking at the beginning there, our director, Jim Marcioni, and our associate director, Isaac Mayo, what a wonderful job they did on the opening. And in general, it's just been a lot of fun for all of us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Just a little special programming, a small way of thanking you for your continued support of Sale of the Century. Now let's get to business and welcome back our champion, Dale Van Dyke. Hello, Dale. Hi. Over $7,000 for the day. Congratulations. And you had to make a big comeback in the speed round to do it. I'm amazed. <laughs> Are you ready to go again? Yes, I am. All right, well, good luck. Win today. You'll play that winner's big money game for $6,000. Here to introduce the challengers, Summer Bartholomew. Wow. Head look. Well, you've had these strange things. What is this you've got now? Oh, it's my pet. <laughs> <laughs> little little trick-or-treat spider there. Okay. <laughs> Who did you bring up? This contestant is always up in the air from Barstow, California. Please welcome Jim Whelan. Hello, Jim. And she has held supreme honors originally from San Francisco, California. Big hand too, Valerie Keller. Hello, Valerie. I thought the bones were strange on the last show. That's too <laughs> heavy. See you later. Valerie, you've ha held supreme honors. Yes, Jim. Well, I was a third-year law student. I had the honor of serving as a, a legal assistant to the California Supreme Court. Oh, that is indeed an honor. Congratulations on Thank that. You. Are you now in practice as a lawyer? Uh, actually, I'm on a, a bit of a, a hiatus. I have a six-month-old daughter, so oh, I'm enjoying it. Congratulations on that, too. That's, that's a pretty good achievement as well. Nice to have you here. You. Jim, you're always up in the air. That's right, Jim. I love to fly. I fly both airplanes and helicopters for business and pleasure. Oh, sounds like good with the helicopters. David uh, also was a helicopter pilot, but I'd stay away from him as a pilot there, Jim. Nice to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> good luck to all three of you. Well, fittingly, with the last show of Trick or Treat Week, the winner's prize for the day has to be, it is a trip to Transylvania. Yeah. And that's in Europe, so there's a lot of interesting places you could see. <laughs> $20 starts you all off. Let's get into the match with this. Cheers star Rhea Perlman is married to what funny actor, Jim? Danny DeVito. That's who it is. Five dollars for the correct answer. Jim goes to 25. In Paris, it's called the Metro. In London, it's the Tube. Jim? The Subway. That's what we call it. Two in a row for Jim. He's at 30. A gullible person often falls for a joke. It's Hook, Line, and Valerie. Sinker. You got it. You've got your first five to 25. What are the frightening figures in Madame Toussaint's museum made of? Jim? Wax. Wax it is. Jim, uh, Jim make it a strong move for 35. If you're dressed as E.T. on Halloween night, what bite-sized peanut butter candy is, Jim? Reese's. That's right. Reese's, Reese's Pieces. You got it. You got another five. You got a 40. Yes. Well, oh, I remember those Reese's peanut butter cups. Time for an instant bargain. Player in the lead can buy bargain merchandise. And, Jim, that's you. Your first opportunity to buy. You've already got a $15 lead over Valerie. What do we have here? <laughs> Jim, what better way to celebrate Halloween than with treats like this? Perone presents their truffles and other hand-dipped pure fresh chocolates for an exquisite dessert or wonderful gift. These delectable chocolates are elegantly packaged, furnished by Perone Chocolatier. And to make sure you're properly attired for this special day, we'll throw in $300 to rent a costume. It's normally priced at $550, but today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $5. Oh, oh, I yeah. love chocolate. Oh, and we love so, to go to Halloween. A lot of candy, $300. You can rent a costume or just put $300 in cash in your pocket as well. But uh, $550 for five. Buy it for five. You still have a $10 lead. And he's going to buy. Enjoy the candy. $300 in cash for the costume. $550 buy. Good job on that, Jim. And we'll knock off just $5. You're still in the lead. In what southern state could you attend a turkey trot festival in Yellville or a river fest in Little Rock? Valerie. Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, Yellville and Little Rock. You go to 30. 
Every day is like Halloween on this sitcom featuring Darren Stevens and his enchanting Valerie. Bewitched. Wife Samantha, bewitched it is. Well done. You tied him for the lead. Some Yuletide ghosts come to haunt Ebenezer Scrooge in Dale. Uh, Christmas Carol. That's exactly right. <laughs> Dale goes to 25. Now, $10 separate the play, $10 money card on the board, fame game, and a famous person. I am an actress who has played everything from a sultry sex symbol to an 83-year-old. I was born in Greenwich Village in 1924 and grew up to become a top model at age 20. I went west to try acting in movies. I married the sexy actor with whom I co-starred in my first film, To Have and Have Not. But Dale. Lauren Bacall. You got it for control of the board, yes. $10 money card wear or something. Daniel is sick. Well, if we lock those flashing ten, lights ten, in, Dale, nine, you could have ten, a three-way tie. Good luck. No, number seven, and she gets. It's a canopy car bed. The star, GP car bed, made of high-impact styrene, equipped with a removable canopy roof and wheels. Take a drive into Dreamland, furnished by B Star. What? That is a bed. It's seven hundred and thirty-nine dollars. It is a bed. You are an engaged young lady. Well, I will say no more. I think I'm going to give you give that to my little nephew. Oh, okay. Think, oh, Your little yeah. nephew will enjoy that. Yes. We will be right back after this commercial timeout. <laughs> It's rank and file. Ten men who are all top guns. Game show style. <laughs> Buzzer Honors vets with all fresh family feud in Card Sharks military episodes. Are there any women top gun pilots? We can't have them on the ship. Something you'd have to get used to if you joined the military. Getting up so early. Buzzer salute to veterans. November 11th. Something that moves when you jump around. Your breast. At ease, soldiers. This is the kind of things that you don't find on Jeopardy. And let's play. Final day of Trick or Treat Week. Valerie and Jim are the tie for the lead at 35. Champion Dale just 10 behind at 25. To liven up your salad, you might add slices of red, green, or... Jim? Radishes. No. I bet if you'd heard the next one. Red, green, or bell, you Pepper. would have said peppers. Yeah. Quick buzzer cost you five. Valerie's got the lead. According to the old pirate song, 15 men on a dead man's chest, yo ho ho, and uh, a bottle of rum. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and Dale ties Jim for second. Now it is one question separating the players. What kind of fierce sea creature is the great white? Valerie. Shark. Just beating Jim to the buzzer, and you've got a ten dollar lead. A pre-Columbian tomb as rich as King Tut's has been discovered in this South American country where the Incas once thrived. Valerie. Mexico. No. Oh, no. They just found a big, rich tomb in Peru. And Valerie loses five down to 35. But Valerie, don't feel too bad because with an instant bargain, you have the lead. And all oh, this should be interesting for trick or treat. Valerie, you could buy this. Valerie, did you see those candles flicker? It's a seance with style. First, it's dinner for eight in your home with butler and harpist in attendance. Then you'll experience the psychic world with a spirited seance. Just for the fun of it, furnished by exciting events. And it's normally priced at $1,525. But today on sale of the century, just for only $10. Well, yeah, that's interesting. So, you can have a party, dinner party for eight, and there will be a harpist to play for you, a butler to serve, and then a seance. It sounds like a terrific evening and uh, just a terrific time. Talking about terrific times, Valerie, before we give you a chance to buy that, 
Our lovely Elaine, it's catching on this show. Every so often it hits. Elaine is leaving us for a while because Elaine is going to have her first child oh. shortly. So we wish you well. Bring the baby back and lots of pictures, okay? All right. Valerie. Now, on that happy note, how about if we give you that whole wonderful $1,525 evening for five bucks? Go, you got it. Going one. $1,525. There's that signal. Trick or treat. The last trick or treat. What have we got here? What? Oh, hello there. Now, Valerie, we've had this. It's been fun during trick or treat week. One box with a pumpkin, one with a clown, one's got money, one is just a trick, nothing there. Which box would you like? Well, I'm hoping that's a friendly ghost, so how about that one? All right, that's, I'd be nice to finish up Trick or Treat Week. <laughs> Hello there. Can we get you off of there? Let's see what you get here. Come on. Oh, oh no. No, it is the other one. I'm sorry about that. But, Valerie, you've got this wonderful $1,525 outing for just $5. Enjoy it. We'll knock the five off, and we've got a three-way tie. The British musical team who gave us such famous operas as The Mikado and HMS Pinafore is Dale. Gilbert and Sullivan. And the champion goes into the lead for the first time today. For some Halloween chills, you might visit the Haunted Mansion at what famous Anaheim amusement gym? Disneyland. Disneyland, it's got to be. That's the amusement park. You tied Dale for the lead. Whether you're in London or not, when the air temperature and the dew point are within three... Valerie? Fog. If they're within three degrees of each other, that's what you get. Fog, and we've got a three-way tie. Where on your car might you find a sticker that reads, my other car is a Mercedes? Jim. On your bumper. That's right, it's a bumper sticker. Jim goes into the lead by five. Yes. You've seen those, my other car is a Mercedes. I, uh, some bumper stickers can be real nasty. I saw one recently, absolutely true. Guy driving down the street and his bumper sticker read, my ex-wife's other car is a broom. <laughs> Ooh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Dale Van Dyke looking for a second win. Right now, she's in the tie for second. It is challenger Jim Whelan who's got the lead, but a slender one-question lead over the ladies. Now back to the fame game with another money card going up there. Either one would give uh, either of you ladies the lead. This is a famous thing. I am a fruit of a trailing vine with broad prickly leaves. It is possible that I was native to Asia and was introduced to America in prehistoric times. I was among the foods at the Pilgrims' first Thanksgiving celebration. But I... Jim. Cranberries. No. Out of the rest of the question, a break for the ladies. We'll clear it and continue. But I'm more closely... Dale. Pumpkin. Yeah, we haven't had that during Trick or Treat Week. It's got to come up. Pumpkin it is. Fifteen dollar money card wears. Fifteen and number three. Well, as promised, either one would give you the lead, Dale. Good luck. Come on, fifteen. No, right up the middle, number five, and she gets... It's a faucet set. The beautiful Amerite faucet. A European design manufactured in the United States. This 1910 model is a contemporary adaptation of the Victorian era using ceramic and metal combinations. Furnished by Amerite. Pretty fancy. It's over $400. Where maybe we'll throw in a wrench so you can do it yourself and change the faucet. You know? <laughs> All three players back in now. Had you been around 400 years ago, you could have seen England defeat this country's invincible armada. Valerie. Spain. Spanish, that's right, Spain, the Spanish armada. You've tied in for the lead. Horror movie TV fans will get to see more of this vampire hostess in a new big gym. Elvira. Elvira, the mistress of the dark. She's on film. You're going to believe. Edgar Allan Poe's chilling tale of a murderer who's driven mad by a ticking watch is called the Tell... Jim? Telltale Heart. Nicely solved, and Jim hits the $50 yeah. mark. And Jim, instant cash now. Two boxes has $100 bills. Oh, maybe it's the last of the smoking set here. <laughs> Two of $100 bills, one today is worth $2,000. Cost you that $10 lead that you've got over Valerie if you want to go for it for 10 bucks, Jim. Going once, gonna go for it. All right, let's finish Trick or Treat Week in a big way. Jim will knock the $10 off for you and Valerie in the tie. Which box are you buying? 
Number one, Jim. All right, I hope you've got it. That would be great for $2,000 for just 10, and you'll open it up yourself. Good luck. Good luck, Jim. <gasps> one, two, five. Oh, I thought you were going to say 100. 2,000. <laughs> You saw the 100s on top, right? 3,000 bucks. Congratulations. Jim got himself a couple of thousand. We've got a good game and Trick for Treat Week concludes right after this commercial panel. There you go, Jim. We're happy for you. Congratulations. 2000 in cash. Any idea what you might do with that at this point? Oh, I think a little bit of flying might be in order. That's right, yeah. He's a flying man. It's nice. You and Valerie both picked up some good things, and with Dale already, the champion, picking up good things, it's nice, all three of you, very much on the plus side and involved in a very close match with Dale. One question behind the challengers. What name is given to the religious ceremony used to expel evil spirits? Jim. Exorcism. And Jim goes back into the lead. Supposedly, it was somewhere near the island of Crete that this legendary continent sank into the ocean. Dale! Atlantis! Just beating everyone with the buzzer, Dale ties Valerie for second. On Halloween night, many children trick-or-treat for this United Nations agency. Jim! UNICEF! United Nations Children's Relief Fund, yes indeed, UNICEF it is. And Jim hits the $50 mark. $10 separate the players, all three money cards up on the board. Final fame game, and this is a fictional character. I was imprisoned forever in an enchanted tower because I fell in love with a sorceress. The place and time of my birth are shrouded in the mists of antiquity, but I was fir first written about in the year 1135 A.D. One of my feats was moving the great stones of Stonehenge from Ireland. Dale. Merlin. Merlin the magician is right, and you've got control of the board. Twenty-five dollar money card. Where? Game okay. number nine. Right down the line with the three of them. You're trailing by ten. Good luck, Dale. Come on, twenty-five. Come on. Two, right next to it, number eight. This time she gets... It's a bowling package. Columbia's His and Her Bowling Package features customized bowling attire and two 100% urethane balls for smooth delivery. Furnished by Columbia 300. Just what you said you wanted if you didn't hit a $25 money card, right? <laughs> it's over $400 worth of wonderful bowling equipment, and it is still very close. And remember now that trip to Transylvania is on the line as we finish up the match with the speed round. 60 seconds on the clock, please. It is Jim in the lead by 10 over Valerie and Dale. Good luck to all three of you. We start the speed round now. In the 1957 horror film, Michael Landon was a teenage... Werewolf. Right. According to the legend, who shot an apple off his son's head? Jim. William Tell. Right. What is a vampire drinking if he asked for Dale? Blood. Yes. In the comics, the famous rich who, uh, witch who has green skin. Valerie? Wendy. No, wrong. <laughs> what seafood is the main ingredient in the Italian dish called scampi? Valerie? Scallops. Uh, wrong. Edward Mulhair and ba po Hope Lang star in the TV comedy, Jim? The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. Nicely done. What classic 50s sitcom features ghosts George and Marion Kirby haunting Jim? Topper. Right. Trick-or-treaters love what Pennsylvania city because it's the chocolate capital of the world. Valerie. Hershey. Right. If you attempt the impossible, someone might tell you you don't have a ghost of a... Valerie. Chance. Right. After she was accused of being a witch, what famous French heroine was burned at the stake? Jim. Joan of Arc. Right. What rugged Asian mountain range is prowled by a legendary monster called the Abominable Stone? Jim. The Himalayas. Right. In what William Peter Blatty bestseller with time is up, Jim is an interesting. Congratulations. Back to Jim in just a moment.
Valerie missed a couple that threw her off. Uh, Scampi, the main ingredient, shrimp or prawns. And the famous witch with the green skin and smokes a cigar, we said in the comics, Room Hilda. And have to say goodbye, first of all, to our champion, Dale. A very good total, Dale. A beautiful diamond pendant. You've got yourself a lot of other lovely prizes. $8,680 uh, $8, for your stay with us in just two shows. Dale, congratulations. Thank you very much. And good much. luck with the play that you're writing. <laughs> Valerie, you didn't win, but you've had a wonderful stay. You've got a great dinner for eight included with a seance. That should be a lot of fun, and that's what it's meant to be. And with the cash in front of you, $1,565. Thank you for joining us as well. And Jim, we congratulate you once again. And as I say, in Transylvania, but it can be any place you'd like at a very nice total, Jim. They're going to tell you all about that trip. Looking for a howling good time, Jim? <laughs> Party till dawn in Transylvania. We'll fly you and a friend from Los Angeles to Bucharest for the start of your seven-day tour through the Romanian countryside to Transylvania. Visit spooky landmarks, the haunted ruins of my house, Dracula's castle, and tour the moors of Transylvania. If you dare, this prize is worth $4,995. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy that, Jim. You're a married man, right? Yes. yes. Oh, you and your wife will have a ball with that. Now let's see if you can pick up some cash as he joins me to play the winner's big money game. Come on, Jim. So that's just a couple of dollars short of a $5,000 trip any place you'd like. There you go. Congratulations. You've done very well already today. Now you're trying for more. This time you're trying for $5,000 in cash. Three envelopes, red, yellow, or blue. Which ones are going to be, Jim? I'll try yellow today, Jim. All right. Solve four puzzles in 20 seconds, and you got yourself $5,000. Now, clock starts when the first word of each puzzle is revealed. It stops when you hit that plunger to give me an answer. And I stress, you're the one that stops that clock, and you got to stop it with four correct answers before the double zero. So 20 seconds on the, on the clock. Good luck. We're all with you now. Let's finish up Trick or Treat Week in a blaze of glory. First puzzle starts now. City where red square. Yes, Moscow. That's right. The Kremlin's located in Moscow. It is. And you're a little bit ahead with your first correct answer. Good job on that. Need three more before the double zero. Let's look at the next puzzle. Now, handsome actor married Natalie. Yes, Robert Wagner. Natalie Wood twice. Robert Wagner it is. At the halfway mark, you're right on target. Ten seconds on the clock. Don't get behind. Good luck. Let's take a look at the next puzzle now. Game features Colonel Mustard. Yes. Clue. That's right, Miss Scarlet. One more to go. Five seconds on the clock. You must stop that clock before the double zero with a correct answer. Do that. You've got yourself $5,000. Let's look at that next puzzle now. Unusual Cartoon strip Robert. Ooh. No idea. Ripley? Ripley? No, you oh. didn't. B believe it or, it or not. Believe it or not. Uh, yeah, you, needed you needed the Ripley on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was so tight there. I thought you were you, you just on the edge throughout that entire time. Well, I can't feel too bad because you have had a heck of a day. Great. We'll add everything up and conclude Trick or Treat Week right after this commercial timeout. You were right on the edge. We're all, all three of them right there.
track of our new champion, Jim Whelan. So congratulations to you. We've got some tickets for you there. And we're, as you. we say, we were calling it Transylvania, but it is an almost $5,000 trip, and you name it. I think we go to a lot of lovely places for that. And with the cash in front of you, you've had a very good day there. But what is it? Summer's still got... Let's, I have one last look <laughs> over there. He's for joy. He's That's so just, excited. It, it has been a lot of fun, that trick-or-treating week, right? Oh, it's, it's been a it's really, it's they've done a terrific job. Wonderful. It's a good thing. Jim, you'll be back as we get back to regular play on the next show? Certainly. And he'll be back with a good total. $7,545 on sale of the country. Bye bye. bye. Sale of the Century stars Jim Perry. This is the Meadow Speaking. Sale of the Century is a Reg Grundy production. It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Davis Family. Bob, Sally, 